hi everyone in this video we are going to see uh, how to implement horizontal parameter selections with radio buttons so if you have any normal parameters you will not be able to align the values in a horizontal way for example if i drag this one and try to reduce the size instead of following in a horizontal form uh, you can see that there is a scroll even if you try to increase the size also you will not be able to uh, align this in a horizontal form for, and also if you go to the more options you don't see any option to change the alignment okay so using parameter actions we will try to implement this um, uh, option to show parameter options in horizontal form okay for that let me go to new sheet and create the parameter so I'm going to use uh, region uh, region values as the parameter selection right click and create parameter name the parameter as region parameter and provide the list of values choose data type string east west central and south click ok now we need to write another calculation called radio button so here we need to uh, give region parameter is equal to region so this returns um, boolean calculation this is boolean calculation which returns true or false if the selected region parameter value is equal to the region field then it returns true okay and i'm going to append this one to the region field again so let me put it in a brackets okay so we are getting error because uh, this calculation from here to here it returns true and um, which is a boolean and this is the string so in order to match uh, concatenate we need you need to convert into a string format okay so let's understand how this uh, calculation works um, click ok and let me drag this calculation to the rows and show parameter control so to the region east t is append here because uh, it returns uh, true because we have selected the region parameter east if you select west and you can see that um, t is uh, concatenated with west um, and all other items all other regions we have f so this logic we are going to so this calculation actually we are going to use to assign different uh, shapes uh, which looks like a um, radio button okay um, let me drag this to the shape uh, so to drop in a shape you need to select uh, shape from the marks card and then drag to the shape now drag uh, region to the columns and we need to hide these headers right click and uncheck the show header okay to see the labels drag a region to the label reduce the size okay um, click on the shape to assign the uh, shapes that looks like a radio button go to the ratings i'm going to use ratings so you can uh, implement using the custom shapes depending on your requirement so i'm going to uh, assign uh, this red dot uh, red radio red color radio button as the selected item so here the selected item is west and which is returning uh, t west so select that one and assign the shape so for remaining all other uh, values select the different shape click ok repeat the same steps for all other values let me choose east go to the shapes and then select now let me select center go to the shapes here for true you need to assign the red color radio button to south now 
go to the shapes then okay now we have assigned all the shapes um, which are required okay now um, we need to write one uh, calculation which uh, changes the values based on the uh, selection in this sheet let me uh, name this sheet as radio button sheet take the new sheet and let me create calculated fields to get these sales for each region east sales if if region is equal to east then sales and click ok uh, duplicate and repeat uh, write the calculations for all the regions list sales click ok central sales South sales okay, I think I need to check this calculation if region is equal to central click ok ok that's fine uh, we have written uh, separate uh, calculations to get the sales value for each region now we will write another calculation uh, which gives the exact value based on the parameter selection and then the calculation as final value uh, case uh, region parameter when this region parameter is equal to east then we need east sales Sorry. Uh, we need to create one calculated field east sales also let me click ok for now right click duplicate and create for east click ok now let me edit the previous calculation so now we need east sales when west then we need west sales when central then we need central sales when south then we need south sales and, and then click ok now let me drag <coughs> subcategory to the rows and drag this final value to the columns let me sort Okay, and now uh, if you drag this uh, region field to the color you can uh, come to know whether the parameter value is passing correctly or not okay so now we are seeing the uh, red color which means the this is showing uh, south region values right click and show the parameter value parameter so if you select east east values are displayed Okay. and now we have not added any interaction with the radio button sheet okay we are going we'll uh, drag these two sheets in the dashboard and implement parameter actions uh, let me name this as the name the sheet as subcategory sales okay create new dashboard drag these two, two sheets onto the dashboard okay Uh, let me reduce the size okay by default we have uh, we are showing it as central region is selected okay let me go to the actions to add interactivity between radio button sheet and the actual subcategory sales sheet 
add action and select change parameter action name the action as radio button filter okay we need to perform this action when user clicks on the radio button sheet so select only the first sheet and we are going to run this action on select target parameter is region parameter and the field we are going to filter on region then click ok and click ok so now if you click on east we are seeing the east region cells uh, for just for confirmation if you see the legends you can uh, test this one color legend okay if you have selected east and you are seeing in the east uh, sales east region sales so which is correct select south seeing the south sales select west you can see the west sales i hope this tutorial is helpful to you if you like this video please do subscribe and hit the like button and thank you for watching